Memorial with so many of you who have come from far and wide, representatives of the Marine Corps from the 2nd Marine Air Wing, our partners in the law enforcement community, Federal Bureau of Investigation, and representing police departments in this country and in Canada. On Sunday, this city and the country will commemorate the 10th anniversary of September 11th. Today, we pay tribute to the heroic first responders who rushed here to Lower Manhattan amidst raging fire and clouds of smoke, with debris raining down around them, they helped evacuate 25,000 people from the World Trade Center. In doing so, they carried out by far the largest rescue effort, certainly in the history of this city. Many of them gave their lives in that effort. 23 New York City police officers on that day. 37 officers from the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. 343 firefighters. And Special Agent Leonard Hatton of the FBI. Today, as has been the custom for the past 10 years, we honor them and all of those who died from illnesses that they contracted as a result of working at Ground Zero and at the landfill in Staten Island after that horrific event. We will never forget their service and their sacrifice. Your presence at this memorial service, along with the solemn music particularly of the pipe and drums, is a powerful tribute to these courageous individuals. Their example will live for the ages and inspire us in everything that we do, from fighting crime to safeguarding the city from terrorism. We dedicate this work to the heroes of 9-11, and we vow to honor them always in our memories and in our hearts. In the words of the poet Lawrence Binion, they shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. May God bless our fallen heroes. May God bless their families. And may God bless the men and women who carry on in their name, protecting this city and our country. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Commissioner Kelly. From the oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. In the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. Home of the brave.